is similar to the layer group, but this contains videos into one group. What does that mean? Well, basically that allows me to put more clips. Any clip that's in this video group will appear, appear on the one track in the timeline. So if I wanted to add more tracks to this single timeline, I would go to this plus sign and add the other track. So I'm going to do that. I'll go one at a time here. Open. Now, if your timeline or if your screen is small like mine here, you cannot actually alter the view of the timeline with this little slider down here. So I'll shrink it quite a bit because I am going to put all five tracks on the one timeline. So now you can see I have two tracks. If I move my playhead, scrub it along, we've got a couple of shots here. So I'll just keep hitting this plus sign and adding to that video group. Now you'll notice in the layers, they are being added to the group. So let me hit the plus sign, grab the third one, I'll grab the fourth and the fifth one as well. Okay, so as I said, these are all part of a single video group. Let me go down to this audio track. What we're going to do here is we've got a bit of music. We're going to put the music in, then we're going to edit to the music, if you will. I'll click the plus sign on my audio track and I'll add that file called incredible.aif. Now it's considerably shorter than what the clips are, but let me just rewind here and play this back. Yes. So you can hear the sound now. If I go past the sound, obviously you will not hear any sound. And you can see here that it's running okay, but it's running a little slower than, than the normal speed because it is currently rendering as I play it back for the first time. If I was to go back here again and play it, it does run a bit smoother, okay? But you can see that there's no audio. The audio only goes this far. That's how, how long the duration of that audio clip is. So that brings me to the, my next move, which is to reduce the length of these clips. It's quite intuitive and simple, in fact, to uh, modify the duration of these clips. And I can take a bit off the front or a bit off the back. You notice when I slide over with my cursor that the icon changes. This allows me to drag and it does snap and change these clips. So if I wanted to take some off the front end of this one, I would do this. Now you'll notice that it will snap and push it forward when it's on that one video group track. I will show you a way to work around that uh, once I bring these in a bit tighter. And again, I can either trim it off the front or off the back, and this is known as trimming. Let me just grab this last one here. And if I drag my playhead back or hit my rewind button, yes. see that play out. Now if I find this is a bit loud, You'll notice there's a little icon at the end here on all of these tracks. I can manually go in here actually and change the duration. I can actually change the speed too. I can make it slow motion or fast motion, which is pretty cool. But let me go down to the audio track and actually just turn this volume down. I'll go down to say about 30% here. You notice too, I have the ability to fade it in and fade it out as well as muting. Now we can also do these fades with transitions, which I will introduce to you in a few minutes. But let me go back here, rewind it. Yeah. It's just a little bit quieter. Okay, now that I've got it sort of at this scale, I actually will stretch the view of that out a bit further so that I have a better view of what's going on. Now another thing we can do within the video group on that layer, that timeline, is I can actually reshuffle the order. I can actually grab a track and move it around and it will just snap. You can see a little black line appear at the intersection basically where it will get inserted. And I can shuffle these around in any order I like without a problem. Also, if I want to create a new track, if I want to pull one of these clips and generate a brand new track and isolate it, I actually need to do that in my layers panel. And I can grab this. You can see it highlighted over here as well. And I just need to drag it above the group to establish its own layer, if you will. And by establishing its own layer, it actually also establishes its own 
track in the timeline. And I can then take that and move it around and whatever footage is available I can potentially retrim that clip. You can see here when I'm grabbing the beginning or end points, I do get a preview of the frame of where it's being trimmed to. Now if I put my playhead right here, it will play. Since this is overlapping, as soon as we see that appear, as the stacking order dictates, that's what will appear on screen. As you can see, I'll do that one more time here. Okay. So that's trimming, that's reordering, and that's establishing a new track. Again, establishing a new track is done by grabbing a video from the video group and dragging it in the layers panel to its own separate layer.